I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Welcome, welcome back to our YouTube channel for math tutorials. May panibagong topic na naman tayo ngayong araw na to at yun ay simplifying rational expressions. The learner simplifies rational algebraic expressions. Ano ba ang mga objectives at the end of this video? Ano ang kailangan niyong matutunan? Enumerate the different steps in simplifying rational algebraic expression. Kailangan ay familiar kayo or alam nyo yung mga steps kung paano makakapag-simplify ng isang rational algebraic expression. And then, simplify the given rational algebraic expression para makuha nyo yung pinaka-simplest form or reduced form. Consider the following examples. 5x minus 10 over 5x. y squared plus 3y plus 2 over y squared minus 1. 12y plus 24 over 48y. Ano ang mapapansin mo sa ating mga examples? Lahat ay fraction pero ang ating numerator at denominator ay polynomials. Tama. So, it can be a monomial, binomial, trinomial, or other polynomials. Ano ba ang rational expression? Kaya mo bang makapagbigay ng another example of a rational expression? I-define na natin ang rational expression. A rational expression is the quotient of two polynomials. So, ang involved ditong operation ay division from the word ratio. Kung saan, ang numerator at denominator natin ay polynomials. Katulad ng mga examples natin kanina. Another example, 2n over n minus 2, monomial over a binomial. x squared plus 3x minus 10 over 3x plus 2, trinomial over a binomial. So, those are examples of a rational expression. A rational expression is in simplest form when the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than 1. Masasabi natin siya ay simplest form na kapag wala na siyang common factors. Mag-review muna tayo sa pagsisimplify ng fraction. Halimbawa, 9 over 15. Paano natin makukuha ang lowest term ng 9 over 15? Of course, kailangan natin i-factor ang numerator at denominator. 9, 3 times 3. 15, 3 times 5. Ngayon, kailangan natin i-cancel ang common factors, which is 3. Kaya ang sagot ay 3 pif, or 3 over 5. Ganon din ang gagawin natin sa rational expression. Tandaan lang ang mga steps. Una, factor the numerator completely. Pangalawa, factor the denominator completely. At pangatlo, cancel out any common factors. So, tatlong steps lang yung tatandaan. Pero, kailangan ay master na master mo na ang iba't ibang factoring method. Kung hindi mo pa na ma-master, ay panoorin mo pa yung aking mga videos na inihanda para sa'yo. Difference between a factor and an addend. A factor is in between a multiplication sign. An addend is in between an addition or subtraction sign. Example, x plus 3 over x minus 9 and 3x plus 9 over 6x plus 3. That is difference between a factor and an addend. Mag-start na tayo. Example 1, 5x minus 10 over 5x. Step 1, i-factor natin yung numerator completely. Anong factoring method ang pwedeng gamitin? CMF, tama. Ano ang common factor? 5. I-divide natin para makuha ang remaining factor. Kaya naman, ang factored form ng 5x minus 10 ay 5 times the quantity x minus 2. Step 2. Uh, 
factor the denominator completely since it is prime we just copy 5x last step cancel the common factor which is 5 equals x minus 2 over x is that our final answer yes that is our final answer yung mga misconception po ng ibang mga students natin ay kapag nakakita ng x minus 2 over x kinakansel pa nila yung x so mali po yun remember sa simplifying rational expression we cancel the common factors not a common term since buong expression yung x minus 2 Okay? Another example, y squared plus 3y plus 2 over y squared minus 1. Factored out the numerator, y plus 1 over y plus 2 over y plus 1 over y minus 1. Yung numerator natin is factorable by GT, general trinomial, while the denominator is factorable by the difference of two squares. Okay? Again, the numerator is factorable by gt, while the denominator is factorable by the difference of two squares. So, that will be the factored form of the numerator and the denominator. We just cancel the common factor for our last step. Therefore, our answer is y plus 2 over y minus 1. Is it clear? Are you following? Okay, very good. Another example, 12y plus 24 over 48y. So, let's factor the numerator by the common monomial factoring. So, what is the common factor of 12 and 24? That is 12. The remaining factor is y plus 2. The denominator, we factored 48 as 12 times 4 para magkaroon tayo ng common factor sa numerator. Okay? So, that's why the factor of 48y is 12 times 4y. Kasi ang ating goal dito ay magkaroon tayo ng common factor na ikakanceled out. Okay? So, ngayon, nagkaroon na tayong common factor na 12. Yun yung ating ikakancel. Therefore, our answer is y plus 2 over 4y. Simplify 2x cubed plus x over 3x squared plus 2x. Our numerator and denominator are both factorable by the common monomial factoring. Let's start with the numerator. The common factor is x and the remaining factor is 2x plus 1. You can check that. Well, the denominator, same, the common factor is x. And then the remaining factor is 3x plus 2. Do we have common factor? Yes, there is. And that is x. Again, for our last step, just cancel the common factor to get its simplest form. So we just cancel x. And our final answer is 2x plus 1 over 3x plus 2. We are getting to a more complex problem. a squared minus 9 over a squared plus 2a minus 15. So, numerator is factorable by what? Difference of 2 squares, correct. How about the denominator? Yes, general trinomial, correct. So, therefore, what are the factors of the numerator and the denominator? So, that is given. In our video, a plus 3 times a minus 3 over a plus 5 times a minus 3. You can check the middle term of our uh, denominator. a plus 5, a minus 3, 5a minus 3a, that is 2a. So, that's correct with our middle term 2a. So, is there a common factor? Yes, there is. And that is a minus 3 that we need to cancel out to get the... Uh, simplest form a plus 3 over a plus 5 so when we encounter rational expression just like x minus 4 over 4 minus x parang binaliktad lang yung mga terms we just multiply the denominator by negative 1 
para maging yung ating remaining factor ay maging katulad ng sa numerator na x minus 4. So, therefore, the answer is negative 1. If the binomial is separated by minus sign. But, if it is separated by plus sign, of course, the answer is 1. Okay, just like this one. A minus B over B minus A, that is negative 1. If A plus B over B plus A, the answer is positive 1. So, that's it for today. So, I hope that you learned something. Thank you so much for watching.